Welcome to Everyone Is Here, where we take every character in a wide variety of different fictional franchises and rank them from weakest to strongest. You can skip ahead using the timestamps in the description or those on your screens right now, though I highly suggest you watch the whole thing. Prove this condescending video on shortened attention spans wrong. Also, all links in the description. Unlike in Undertale, League of Legends has enough in-game statistics to determine the absolute power levels of the champions. I mean, every champ does have their own base stats, but these are not reflective of the champions themselves. The matches are separate from the lore. Serat in the lore probably won't die from an Akali with her grass cutters anytime soon, even though that's what happens every time I play my main. So, a couple of days back, I made a tier list with every single champion in League of Legends, ranked from strongest to weakest, and posted it to Reddit, hoping to get some feedback for this video. And, well, like my parents every night, Reddit had its arguments. Which is fine. Though a person by the name of Katarhero72 on Reddit, which I'll be referring to as hypertension for the rest of this video, did offer to discuss changes to my tier list. Turns out, he has been extensively researching the League of Legends lore and has been doing in-depth lore power level analysis for years now. I highly suggest you guys check out his Reddit posts, they're good reads. Anyways, he also, most importantly, has his own tier list which he regularly updates whenever new lore comes out with its own tiering system. I'll explain this tiering system real quick. So, there are 5 tiers, from weakest to strongest, the mortal tier. These are the champions that are still not slouches, but innately do not have the power of a Magus tier champion. Most of them are merely skilled human warriors or rely on a weapon or mount for their power. A majority of human champions will be in this tier, along with a lot of your favorites. The Magus tier. This tier is composed of the champions not quite powerful enough to be in the Harbinger tier, but are definitely more than a physically exceptional human. Most of these champions have some sort of size, strength, or magical power that puts them above that of what a mortal tier champion could typically match. The Harbinger tier. These are the champions with powers rivaling that of an army or possess an uncombat ability of similar magnitude. Some of these would be transcended tier if not for the human frailty or some glaring weakness, but are still extremely powerful. The transcended tier. These tier are beings with incredible power, either being a being that could single-handedly destroy a city or do things beyond the normal realm of possibility. These beings are more than just a human physically and can endure far more than an empowered human on the same level. They are practically immortal or are very close. These beings avoid the cosmic tier by being limited in their scope, usually to a singular region of Runeterra. Finally, the cosmic tier. The lowest level of power a being must have to be on this tier is the power to impact an entire planet. They are immortal, nigh unkillable, extremely powerful, and almost as old as time itself. Just to emphasize, the beings in this tier are stated to not be gods. There are also limbo tiers in between the general tiers for when the lore isn't clear enough on the range, origin of the character's power, etc. Limbo tiers are basically in between tiers. Seeing as how Hypertension's tier list has already been well researched, all I really did was take his tier list, split the tiers, and rank the champions of each tier from strongest to weakest. The champions on each tier were initially arranged alphabetically. Now we should have a pretty good ranking of every single League of Legends champion. Please do follow Hypertension at Twitter, as this video would honestly be garbage without his input. Seriously, I put a teen with a bat at the top of my old tier list. What's wrong with me? Number 1. Champions in the same tier are arranged from strongest to weakest, left to right. Champions in the same general tier are relatively close in power, and those in the same specific tier even more so. Number 2. This tier list was finalized March 21, 2020, Eastern Standard Time, which is after the release of Set, but before the release of new fiddlesticks. Number 3. This tier list is based on League of Legends lore, not on the matches. Gragas can one-shot squishies, but in the lore he's just a big fat man with some free mark abby. Number 4. I'll just read Hypertension's Reddit post for this one. Only canon lore is considered. Cinematics are only canon if they are lore or individual champion related, so Twist of Fate and New Dawn are out. Fan theories and potential are not considered, but input from writers is taken into account in context. Also, the lore must be current, so Institute of War, lores contradicted by the updated bios, etc. are ignored. Also, I try to be as impartial as possible when making these El Serat would have been the mighty overlord of all creation. Number 5. Related to number 4. Skins are also not taken into consideration, so no Star Guardians, Dark Stars, etc. Number 6. These champions are rated for their innate powers. We'll be taking away their equipment and mounts. 
Ziggs won't have his bombs, and Kled won't have Scar, etc. It's Kled, the Cantankerous Cavalier. Not Kled and Scar, the Cantankerous Cavalier. Don't be surprised to see a lot of humans and yordles in the bottom tiers. They're not slouches, they just don't have the innate power to climb up to the Magus tier. Number 7. This tier list is about power levels, not how certain champions can beat certain other champions. Lux has defeated Nocturne before, but that's more because Lux's light magic specifically counter Nocturne. Nocturne still has more overall innate power than Lux and gets the higher tier. Number 8, and probably most important of all, please don't take this tier list too seriously. Opinions are fun to throw around, and League of Legends is just a game in the end of the day. Certain champions have more lore than others, and it might be hard to gauge a champion's true power sometimes. But please, do feel free to leave your nice and rational comments below. And with all of that out of the way, let's get on with... Tell us what to do, and we'll get it done. Oh, shit! A rat! Nah, oh, fuck that shit, man. He's too tanky.
Pig riding a boar. What a juice! Plant mushrooms, plant, plant. Found a Blitzcrank who thoroughly amuses me. I've played versus him in ranked and he's a beast! After all, why can't <laughs> you should have to pay premium prices for snake oil. Not so here at Dr. Jonathan Tronley's Medicinal Menagerie. Right through the Counter-Strike! Oh, I fucking love it! The Troll King. 
That's all right, Club. Uh Stung by giant desert hairy scorpion. One, two, three. This isn't even my final form! What? Wow, we actually hit our goal of planting 20 million trees. That's insane. Normally I don't- First, the news. The coronavirus emerging from China is contagious among humans. That's according to the...
pull for the niggas and we diving. Hey, you like that song again? And shit, man, it's finna fucking rain. We got lighting and shit. Let's see if I can catch some fucking lightning. Kitch out.